Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, you've seen videos in the past where we have made firewall rules that block DNS from going outside of the router and that we hand out our router IP or we hand out specific IP addresses uh, to do our, our DNS for us. Well, in this video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a rule that basically hijacks any DNS traffic that hits the router and redirects it to a server that we want to handle that DNS resolution for us. So let's get to it. All right, if you've looked at the last few videos, the edge router videos, this is the same edge router that we have private internet access configured on, but we're going to use it anyway. Username and password are both UBNT, UBNT. Do not use that in production. Always change the default password. We're going to go ahead and log in. Once we are logged in, we're going to go over to the firewall NAT tab. Then we're going to go over to the NAT tab, and we are going to create a DNAT rule. And what this rule is going to do is it's going to watch for traffic destined for port 53, and then it's going to redirect it. Now, if you have a pie hole on your network, you can use this to redirect to the pie hole. If you have uh, your own DNS server here, you can do that. If you want to redirect to an open DNS or a DNS filter or any of the hundreds of DNS services, you can do that with this rule. So, and I'm going to show you real quick a, an example of how we know this works. So before we create the rule, we'll show you that it is currently that there, there's nothing. We're not, you know, capturing this traffic and sending it out where we want. So we'll do an NS lookup on an internal name only. So cloudkey.howx5.com. We'll point that out to Google. So it's going to go out. It's going to hit it. Google's going to go, hey, I can't find this domain. So now we're going to create the rule, and you're going to see that we run this exact same NS lookup, and we try to send it out to Google, that we actually grab that traffic and redirect it to our internal DNS server. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to add a DNAT rule, and we're going to call this DNS. And our inbound interface is either, if you're on an edge router X, and you're on the default switch, you would use that. This router, I am actually connected to ETH2 without a, I don't have a bridge set up or anything like that, so I'm going to use the actual interface. If you have a bridge set up, and the IP addresses are on that bridge, you're going to use that bridge interface. If you're on switch zero, like on your edge router X, and, and that's where the addresses are coming from, you're going to use switch zero. In this example, I am on ETH2. I'm not on the VLAN, I'm just on ETH2. So now, my translation, this is where I want to send the DNS traffic. So we're going to put in my internal DNS server and port 53. And it's going to be TCP and UDP. Now, here on the source, we can specify a source. If your pie hole or your DNS server is on the same IP subnet, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exclude that address. So how you would do that is you would put an exclamation point, and so it will exclude 66.10. I'm not going to do that here, but if I was on the same IP subnet, I would do that. <clears throat> so it would exempt my DNS server so my DNS server doesn't get redirected to itself. Excuse me. And then the destination port is 53. And we'll go ahead and save this, and you'll see what this rule looks like. So what we've got down here is we've got description DNS. Source is anything right now destined for port 53, either TCP or UDP, we're going to redirect it or translate that over to 66.10 port 53. All right, you can already see that there are packets hitting that. Uh, but what we're going to do is uh, just to be sure is we'll flush that DNS and we're going to run that same lookup. And now you can see that it comes back and it resolves to 192.168.66.5 but 8.8.8 .8 .8 actually isn't the DNS server that we're going to. We're actually redirecting that to 66.10, which is our internal DNS server. It's that easy. So you can use this to redirect all kinds of traffic. You can craft these kinds of rules 
and and touch and manipulate uh, where the traffic goes in your network. It's it's this easy. Just get in the router, play around with it, and see how it goes for. If you've got any questions, make sure you put them down below. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to talk to us live, you can go to our Discord link down there. There's usually somebody around. If you need best practices consulting for voice over IP, networking, security, web design, a combination of all of those things, go to h5llc.com down there, fill out the contact form, and somebody will get with you as soon as possible. If you want to order any of the gear that uh, you see us use here on the channel, you can use that Amazon affiliate link down there. Also, we do have a newsletter over at h5llc.com. If you go over there and sign up, there is content that will be released to newsletter uh, people on that newsletter list only. So that is it. Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.